All right, welcome. Welcome, welcome, Ali, Jeffrey, Carrie, Laura. I'm Eliza. This is our New Humanity Now call, and it's also our um, Quantum Burst experience. So I want to just take a, a, a moment to um, line up, just energetically line up and go so that we're all on the same page and the same screen and the same energetic vibration. So just feel, right, and look at the screen. You see the faces on the screen. We're a small group today, so it's easy to see everybody. And then feel that vision coming down to your heart so that your heart is connecting to the heart of every other person here. And then we line up. For the greater good of this next hour or so, we line up together. And when I say line up, I mean, we just like allow our energy systems to come into alignment. Boom. And that lifts our vibration, our energy, our awareness. So just lift your eyes, lift your vibration, come into alignment with the group. And feel your body, mind, heart, soul, spirit system coming into resonance with the intention of this hour. Even if you don't know what it is. And then we just expand and feel that moving in and through us, individually and collectively in and through our circle which spans from Arizona to Arkansas to Michigan to New York to Scotland and beyond. And just feel how that lining up feels in your body, in your awareness. Take a deep breath in. When you're ready, open your eyes. So I, I'd like to hear from each of you how that is, how that was, how that is for you. And then I'm going to um, do a little, a little piece on the, the quantum burst experience. Um, but I want to just, you know, hear every voice first. So. Ali, how was that for you? Uh, yeah, no, fine. Um, funnily enough, I'd had an experience with where I found a bird with a broken wing, a baby bird, and rescued it. And it was something profound about it looking into my eye and that connection about looking into an eye. So when you're saying connecting by heart, I've had a really, it's been quite a moving experience with this bird because it was just so exquisite about life itself. So I actually thought, I actually, I think I connect through people's eyes, you know? And mm -hmm. so I did that and uh, yeah, it just feels really at the moment about people's eyes. Mm. So um, yeah. Beautiful. And then, you know, the, <clears throat> the other piece was um, at the end there, you know, sort of across the globe. You know, it's it just felt so expansive that we're across the Atlantic, at least. <laughs> <laughs> right. Awesome. Thanks, Kerry. Hmm. Um. It's amazing because I don't actually remember what happened there. I just am so present to. Um, what I would use the word for is love. Um, it's just, it's like, peace. It's just like this, I was just like instantly entering into peace and remembrance of who we all are and this the, the heart opening of love 
Mm-hmm. Like it's just this, the, the, the bursting is just this really like, and it's all just here. Yeah. And it, it felt like a millisecond. That's why I said, like, I can't even, I don't even, like, I know you said stuff, but it was, <laughs> there's this, the portal. It's just mm-hmm. portal space. And, and now I feel like all high and, because I am. Why <laughs> 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 <Bye-bye. laughs> That's what it is. Like, it's this, oh, what is this here? You know, like, I, I know it's not, like, it's just a connection. That's, but it's to the fullness of it. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And Laura, how was that for you? It was very peaceful and just soothing. And when you mentioned where all of us are from, it was like I was able to go to each of those areas and connect with all of you. You know, it like those heartstrings, you know, just like, boom, they just like connected and now I feel like we're all together. You know, it felt very peaceful. And then in the background here in Arizona, I have these beautiful chimes out there and I could hear those. So it was very soothing. And that's something that I need in the hustle and bustle of, you know, life and what's going on and stuff. So just peace and the heartstrings of connecting. And I felt like I was actually flying to each of you. Mm. which was kind of cool. Wonderful. Beautiful. (laughs) Cool. And uh, Madeline's coming in. Welcome, Madeline. And uh, Jeffrey, how was that for you? Just that simple lining up. Uh, It's wonderful. It's uh, something I'm learning to practice or or mindfully practicing the pause. It was a beautiful pause. Yeah. And... uh, you know, it's always remembering that we are human beings and we get to be together. And we're not human doings. So uh, to take time to pause and uh, remember who we are with other people more than any time two or more of the are gathered. <laughs> uh, so this is a blessed moment with all of you. Yeah. to gather in the presence of our understanding of our connectedness. So thank you very much. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, Madeline, I know you just came in. We just did a line in a lineup, but you want to just say hello and let us know where you are because we were connecting to locale. Hello, everyone. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Um, I'm trying to sort things out here. My camera isn't working, but um, my name's Madeline and I am from... Uh, Birmingham in the Midlands of um, of America. How about Britain? I don't even know what country I'm in anymore. (laughs) I blame the energies. (laughs) Yeah, we're we're transcending all uh, all, uh, boundaries. (laughs) Yes, that's a very good way of putting it. I must remember that one. (laughs) It obviously worked when we all connected across because she thought she was now in in America. And some of us may be wishing we were in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> not, not now, you're just chucking down with rain. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. So, um, so I, I wanted to kind of focus this, this call on um, quantum burst and the quantum burst experience and, and what it is and why we do it and how we do it and then really have an experience of it. The truth is, We have an experience of it every time we do something like lining up, every time we do something like pausing, Jeffrey and I were talking about the pause yesterday. Every time we we just get still into that eternal now moment. But it's a little bit different too because um, in my history, right, most of you know, I've got 20 years as a unity minister now under my belt and we just celebrated that 20 year thing. And so I spent my whole career really, and and for about seven or eight years before I was ordained also, in spirituality and in meditation and in 
um, <clears throat> the practice really of oneness, of wholeness, of aligning up, of, of awakening that essence of the truth of who we are and, you know, a variety of different terminologies, right? But, but what I've noticed in the last, oh, I don't know, eight or nine months, kind of sort of something shifted for me last fall is, is that when we meditate, we align up. Right, right. We we land in that eternal now moment. <clears throat> we access the still point, if you will. We access the quantum. We've been accessing the quantum in my work for years now, and we've been using that term for years now too. But but the idea of quantum burst is that we line up there, right? So we come to that still point, and we and we land in that eternal now moment. Land in that place of peace and calm and openness and love and you know even joy and 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 then we turn it up like like if that place of stillness is uh, maybe a little campfire kind of a thing and then we fuel it and we go and we burst from that place of stillness into a deeper wider stillness into uh, let's see out of every time i say it i say it a little bit different but out of where we are and it's not like we leave where we are but out of here into the empowerment into the action into the uh, out of the particle right quantum physics into the wave like we transcend all sense of material or physicality for that moment and we burst into the wave. And in the wave, it's unlimited potential and infinite possibilities, but it's also the void, but it's also so active, like the power there is so tangible. And that's the piece that for me is really that burst, like it's brilliant to land in a moment of stillness any 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 time but if we can like burst then we become much more co-creative but it's co-creative not from our minds right ellie and madeline and i are in a different group and and so um we often go there well two or three times every time we are on a call but we don't we don't necessarily use the language i'm using but but it's like we're lifted like a liftoff, like we had a rocket not that long ago leave um, our soil for the first time in a long time, and it was really phenomenal. And then this week I caught a live of NASA of the astronauts outside of the rocket ship, so you could see the Earth down below. It was so cool. If you haven't seen it, go look for it. It was live for, I don't know, hours, I think, but it was really, really awesome. But it's like, no, I forgot, I got distracted by my astronaut story. <laughs> It's like you come into the, the complete unknown. You go through the void to the complete unknown, and then things are revealed. Sometimes, sometimes I get a sense of quality. Sometimes I get an image, a vision. Sometimes I get, you know, the picture. Like Ali just got the picture of the the bird came, and and you know everybody gets what they get. But then, the, then the exponential of the exponential power. Right, is to come together and then power up, line up collectively. So each of us individually line up, we go whoosh. I use so many sounds now, that's relatively new for me, or at least I wasn't using sounds like that 10 years ago. Oh, well, maybe I was, but anyway, whoosh. line up. Whoosh. And then it's like all the distractions fall away. So I kind of like rocket ship, like I'm lifted above my, my little world down here, or whatever's going on on the planet. It's not about ignoring it or dismissing it or diminishing it. It's just about let's choose where we put our awareness, at least for a moment. Because we all know that what we focus on is what we get more of. So when we can focus on, and, and the other language that I'm using, and you all know this, is new humanity now. And so for the last 10 or 15 years, I've been talking about that we're on the cusp of really evolving as a species into a new, a new species. Barbara Marks Hubbard calls it uh, homos universalis, so it's universal human. And there's lots of language, you know, um, about that. But, but we are actually in that birth canal right now. 
uh, we thought we were going to do it in 2012, right? And now <laughs> here we are eight years later, 10 years later going, oh, actually, this is it. So we're in this birth canal. So when we can line up to that new place, to that quantum place, to that new humanity now, which is, well, there's not words for it first. And the words that we use are only like glimmers of what it is, but, but you feel it. And then when you feel it, what, you, what, what I know to be true is it's a whole new dimension of consciousness. It's a whole new dimension of, of living that is fundamentally love, kindness, compassion, innovation, creativity, beauty, connection, community, all of those words, but they feel very different than when we use those words, those same words a year ago. So they're like embodied the embodiment of that, not the thought of it, if you will. That's one way to put it. And so when we line up, we both enter into that new that's already there, and we activate that new in the now moment. So some of the people that I'm working with are really um, working on something specific, like they want to up-level their career, or they want to help with our racism issues, or they want to, you know, get through, <laughs> reform our healthcare, or whatever, right? It doesn't even really matter, because, because, because we're playing in the quantum, like the details don't matter. It's the experience, it's the vibration, it's the embodiment, it's the, the beingness of who we're becoming, and, uh, and, um, well, that's a whole nother tangent. So the beingness of who we're becoming in the future now. So it's not like wait 10 years or 20 years or 100 years. It's like, no, it's that vibration. It's that frequency. It's that alignment. Right now. And when we embody that, well, first, when we touch that, every time we touch that, we're building new neural pathways. So the science behind this is actually really, really rich. Um, and every time we build new neural pathways, some of the old ones can dissipate, can get unhooked, can be dismantled. The old pathways being unworthiness, I'm not good enough, you know, life never works, um, you know, white supremacy, white privilege. I mean, all everything is all packed up in the subconscious. And when we move, if we're in normal, what we call normal life, and, and we're moving along like normal people, we're going to be from living from the subconscious, the known past, and all we're going to see is the predictable future based on the past, based on the patterning, based on the, the way the DNA is wired. And so every time we touch that new place, we can interrupt the old patterns. We can begin to build new patterns of embodiment, of kindness, of compassion, of alignment of coherence. And every single time, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, biologically, biochemically, everything can begin to shift. So we touch it, and we touch it, and we touch it, and we touch it. And the more that we touch it, the quicker the pathways are built. And the more that we remember, because we're building new body memories, and that actually goes all the way down to the chemicals in our systems, right? We're, we're dismantling the addiction to guilt, to use um, Joe Dispenza's language, and we're activating the feel good, the oxytocin and the serotonin and, and all of the other chemicals in our system that allow us biologically to heal ourselves, to be active, to be creative, to be proactive in our world. But we do it from that place of beingness. So in that place of beingness, again, quantumfied, I've been making up all kinds of new fun words, quantumfied, quantumfied, oh, there I am. So you can go about your day, it's like, here's an example, sort of. Here's, here's my day. I'm like going around and I have this going on and that going on. And I found out my constant contact didn't work. And I got, I got my time zones all mixed up and I'm like, well, and I kind of go like this and I can get caught, for example, in something and get caught in something. And so my energy system drops. I drop into the density of whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. And then can you feel like my eyes droop? 
I feel like I get jowls now when I do this. My body, I kind of, my spine kind of collapses and I'm like, huh, hey, well, life, life's fine, everything's good. But it's good, good enough. But when I can notice that I notice, and I go, wait, 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 I'm here. What if I were to pivot? What if I were to go in, in the group I was leading this week, we were going from the old, right? The old humanity. And we were like, oh, there's old. Oh, where's new? <sighs> right? Just <sighs> like we don't need a three hour meditation to get there. We can land there like now. So let's have an experience of it. Go to the old. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I, have, I get a headache. Like, oh my gosh. And I look to the past. I look to my subconscious. I look to my, right? Whatever the issue is, when you get caught up in whatever you get caught up, just feel it. Like, let your body collapse. I want to see it. Because I can see you all, except Madeline. I can imagine Madeline. <laughs> and then go, oh, I'm in the old. What if I were to be new? Oh. <sighs> like, pivot. Like, just pivot your shoulders. You don't have to stand up. Pivot. It's like, <sighs> line up. And what do you notice? I mean, just that simple, just choosing to line up. What do you notice? Let's hear from a, a few of you. Um, I, it's, it's instantly lighter. Instantly. Instantly. Lighter. Yeah. Freer. I mean, you can breathe. There's more space. Things are brighter. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, then it's like the wonderment of what, what would that be like to be experiencing something else right now to see something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I felt, I felt stronger. Yeah. And yeah, just more empowered. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's mm -hmm. like moving your shoulders three inches, boom, but with intention because we're already lined up in that quantum, just boom, boom. What else? Anything else? <clears throat> yeah. I thought, um, oh, sorry. No, uh, I Ellie. thought, um, I felt, I mean, I did think as well, but I mean, I, <laughs> I felt uh, what both you guys just said in that it was just, well, but it, the also the word I would add is that, oh, any possibility. Yeah. And, and I was talking as we were, joining up about computer thing you know and thinking oh god I always get the model and I'm not technology blah, blah, blah. and then it's like I don't have to be that person anymore I can do this you know and it's like <laughs> <'cause> infinite possibilities <laughs> one of my favorite lines is what if it were easier <clears throat> what if it were easier like oh could be easier my first book or the or first even what if it's easy yeah, what if it's easy? Yeah, yeah. One of my first books was called uh, Falling into Ease. Release your struggle and create a life you love. So I've been using that for, you know, quite a few years. What if it, what if it was easy? Oh, who, and then you already said it, but who would I be if it were easy? Right? Who would I be if I were the old me? Oh, struggle. It's hard. I don't know how to do it. I get so caught up. Ugh. Oh, I'm in the old. Boom. New. Oh, who would I be if I, who would I be if it were easy? It's kind of a backwards turn on that, but it, but it is also like, if it were easy, I'd be at peace. And when I pivot, I go line up. Oh, there's ease. Oh, now that can be easy. So it's both and it's it's a it's a spirally infinity kind of energy flow. I really like that you shared that about who would I be being? I've utilized that like who would I be being? Like who would I be being if this was happening in my life and how that just brings that energy in oh. there. I don't have to go look for who do I need to be? but it's just like, who would I be being, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that can be another simple pivot. It's just like, Oh, I mean, it kind of happens automatically. So putting that 
thought on there almost takes you out of it, but it kind of happens. So Jeffrey's posting Levolution. Uh, that's uh, such a great word. Levolution's new word concept. Uh, you uh, yeah, just ahead, said, uh, what would I be? <laughs> and this is the first time I wrote that just from this thing, I said, I am the Levolution man. <laughs> because we're all in that Levolutionary process. Yeah. And the other thing, of course, that struck me when we were saying this is, it's the, the well thought of here and now. When we go into that feeling, we're in the presence. We're in the here, we're in now, here. So. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've been playing with, um, you know, Ram Dass, what in the 70s or whatever was like had the book be here now right so that's been sort of always and forever and then the quantum fight feeling of be here now is what i'm calling the eternal now moment like i can be here now and then i can turn it up and go oh i'm in the eternal now moment and for me it's just different subtle and profound like oh there it is you know, full transparency. Do I live there? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Um, not always, <laughs> right? But the tools and and the 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 practices are so quick that you can do it any moment. And again, every time you do it, you're transcending the old for the new. Not that there's anything wrong with the no old. It's an evolution. Love evolution. It's an evolution of our beingness of our essence and that's what's going to ultimately change our world is those of us and there's lots of us doing this work it's not like it's just you know the six of us right here but but all across the world in a hundred million different uh, ways and jeffrey's involved in some of those other ways including the evolution way and carrie's involved in some of those ways she's our nature gal a virtual nature or not virtual nature but whatever <laughs> all that stuff that you do. <laughs> and, and so we all have our role to play, even if it's, and especially because it's, it's more about our beingness than anything we go do. But if you're going to go do anything, be, 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 be first, be your beingness first. Right. Yeah. Ellie. Just thinking when you said about, we can be here, and and when I think of it in that way, it's like yeah, I'm pe I'm being here because I'm paying attention. I'm I'm committing to listen to people or whatever you know, like pay attention. And of course, that's external to me. And the eternal now moment is the be the inner in a way. It's like I haven't got to be putting my attention outside, I'm actually going deeper, whether that's in, out, shake it all about, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's what, I, that sort of came to me, because it's like, yes, you know, can be in a moment, but I could be in a moment thinking about what's around me or just go to that other place. Yeah, and that, that eternal is internal, and so much more. It's internal, but it's also infinite. I always I like to talk about that spiritual heart as the, the portal. So we have all the noise, like a funnel, like a like the egg timer, right? All the noise up here of the universe, of our brain, of our mind, of you know, whatever's going on, and then we funnel down into that be here now, that eternal now moment. But when we touch that, we funnel back out to the infinite. It's like the portal to the infinite is in the depths of our being. So I used to teach years and years and years ago in, in teaching the meditation. I've been teaching meditation for 35 years or something or facilitating it for 35, 36 years now. I know that because it's how old my daughter is. So I always know exactly how long I've been doing it. Other things, I don't know anything about how old it is, how long it's been. But, but it's, I used to, it used to really teach go up. And even now I say lift up, but, but it has a connotation of from the depths of my being. So it's not like we're going from our mind up to a higher mind. We're going from the core of our being through our being into this higher place, into this infinite. And that's, again, a subtle but yet profound 
different, or I've experienced it to be quite different. Another thing I often talk about is feel your hips and feel your feet. So you get your awareness dropped into your body, feel your feet connected to the ground, and then bring your awareness up to that hip space, that lower abdominal. What if it was easy, yeah? What, well, yeah, what if it was easy, yeah? And what if it, what if it were easy? Like, oh, what if it were easy? Oh, boom, pivot, like button pushed. Oh, easy button. Remember this, <laughs> at least in America, we had the Staples office supply button. It was easy, the easy button. <laughs> we used to have some of those around. Anyway, so let's, let's do a quantum burst. Let's join up together and do a burst and, and then we can talk about it a little bit more and you can ask any questions. If you have any questions before we do that, um, Go ahead and ask. Um, I don't have a question, but when Ali shared this popped in um, about the beingness, is what I discover is by just being is like a portal. It's like a doorway for others to. I don't want to say come to us, but it's like. It's like this automatic open door for others, I've found. Like just in the beingness, just, just in the beingness as it creates that space for those that are seeking whatever they're seeking to come into our space or even engage or have a conversation or just be with us, be in that vibration. So like they, it becomes like they get to just come in and in whatever way. And that's what I find. But that just was really presence to that when you were sharing about how yeah. it's, just, it's a portal, not it's like everything that comes in and that gets a whiff. It's just like or down, whatever. <laughs> it's just <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. And part of that is because when we are there, right? It is our energy field is that spaciousness is that peace that love that you know whatever use your word because it can be all kinds of different words but the spaciousness of that and then there is wide open right so people can i, I mean they do they walk into the room and they're like, oh, i feel better in your presence it's like oh and, and it's not about making that happen but it is that is sort of an outcome of what happens Eliza, could I just ask a question briefly? Sure, ma'am. I, I noticed you were doing something with a shoulder movement. I think at the point that you were explaining that someone was asking me something. So um, is it really just a matter of, well, would you mind summarizing that really briefly for me? That'd be so sorry, it's just, someone came and interrupted me, sorry. Okay, so um, ask, ask me again what I'm what I'm repeating. What I'm well, as I as I'm, as my attention came back, I could see you making a, a shoulder movement, and I wondered if this was integral to the to the quantum burst in the, or is it is it a sort of an aid to shifting your awareness, and and well, how vital is it to do that? <laughs> <laughs> so I so I don't know exactly what I was saying at that moment, but but I'm often like using my arms. And I use my arms like, um, oh yeah, Allie? It was the exercise you did, pivoting from the old. Oh, the pivoting, got it, yeah. got it, yeah. Yeah, so we were playing, Madeline, like if we were, like if, like old to new, like density to light. So if we're old, I was pivoting my shoulders to the old, to the density, to like reality, what I see out there in the world. And then I was using that for a physical experience to go, oh wait, there I am, what if I came you? So this is not an integral part of your meditation practice. No. <laughs> I it's, thought this was some new technique. <laughs> it's, a, it's an integral part to making, bringing your meditation practice into life itself. Sure, okay, thanks. Yeah, no, I, I comprehend what, what's, what's been happening. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't <laughs> missing some, yeah. you know, I'm a perfectionist. I like to know I'm doing it right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the deal, Madeline. In this work, you can't do it wrong. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. And thanks, Ellie, for pointing me in what she was talking Thanks, Ellie. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's line up. <sighs> 
So we'll, I'll take us in steps, you know, when we're in the quantum burst club and we're doing this on a, on a regular basis and it's familiar, we don't take the time to take the steps, but because it's a newer group and, and I'm sort of talking about it today. So we just like close your outer eyes, but use every, everything that I say, use it as like a mudra, a symbol to your system that goes, okay, here we go. So close the outer eyes which is a symbol to move from the outer to the inner. So just feel your whole energy body and you can pivot it a little bit. You can go, oh, what's it feel like to be out there? Oh, worried about that, out there, out there. Oh, pivot inner, oh, there I am. And then notice your awareness and drop it from your mind to your body. So drop it through your body. Notice your head, your shoulders, your elbows, your hands. Notice your neck, your chest, your back, all the way down, your belly. Notice your legs, your knees, your ankles, your feet, and bring your awareness to the very bottoms of your feet. We bring our awareness to the bottoms of our feet because it draws us out of our head into our beingness. It also is our connection to the earth, to the planet. Just feel what it feels to be here now. Feel what it feels like. Notice what you notice to be in your body, not your mind. And bring your awareness up your legs to that lower abdominal area. It's called the Dantian, the Hara, the womb, if you're a woman, home. Just land there, let your full energy awareness land there inside your being, inside your body. Lift your awareness just a little bit, just a few inches and land in your spiritual heart. Doesn't matter if you don't know that place. It's a crossover point between heaven and earth, between material and spiritual. It's the point of the portal. So being here now, feel how it feels to be in the spiritual heart. Notice what you notice, any sensations. And then from the spiritual heart, from this now moment, drop deeper into the eternal now moments to just feel it as a just choo, drop in. Choo. Oh, there I am. Choo, drop. And as you drop, you enter the portal. And then we just turn it up. As we turn it up, we just open and receive and feel the fuel coming down from the earth to just lift you from that portal into the infinite. Feel that eternal now moment expanding into the infinite. Feel yourself even maybe opening like a lotus flower, like, oh. Notice what you notice. Notice a sensation, a feeling, a sense. Could be an image. And then we begin to turn that up. We just turn up the fuel, we turn up the volume, we turn up the experience. And as we turn it up, it is as if 
We are lifted, 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 and popped into a new space, into a new awareness, into a new dimension. Just notice what you notice. And imagine in this wide open expanded space that there comes a point of you being able to see what you can see and there's a, a, a ball maybe and you know there's more, you know there's more beyond that wall above that wall. So this time we're gonna just lift, like just peek over the top of that wall. Just peek over it, let yourself be lifted just to see over the edge of it. And as it becomes to come into focus, as you begin to become aware of there is something more we lift and we lift and we lift and we pop and find yourself standing in that newer expanded space. And in this newer expanded space, we now come together collectively, the six of us here on the call and those who will catch the recording Feel us collecting, feel us coming together, feel the energy field landing together. And then we quantum burst that by lifting it, by lifting it, by lifting it, and by gifting it to the universe. Doesn't even, you don't even have to know what we're lifting and gifting. Lift, lift. Lift, gift. And one more time. Lift, 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 gift. And as we gift this to the universe, it moves in circles and comes right back around and blesses you. It's like, well, what is it for you, right? It's like a sparkle. It's like the particles of the wave of the brilliance of that which we are becoming raining down upon you, over you, into you, through you, as you. And these particles and these qualities, they might have a quality to it. It might be simply light. So just notice what's coming. Notice what you're experiencing. And as you notice what you're experiencing, look around and see what you see, hear what you hear, smell what you smell, and become aware of the new, the new, the quantum, that which has not been yet, but that you are accessing. We are accessing.
Nice one hand on your heart, the other hand on your lower belly. Just allowing the full integration, the anchoring of this experience. Take a couple of deep breaths. Allow a word, a phrase, an insight to come into your awareness. And when you're ready, open your eyes. How was that for you? It was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and, and that was actually the message. I went higher and higher. And I, I'm not normally, I, I blame being on a call this morning with someone talking about Star Trek. But as we went higher and higher, I'm not given to this normally, but there were all these kind of galactic beings and they were kind of saying, chill out. So, and, and then we went even higher and there was a high council and they handed me a scroll and they said, here's the road map. And I was going, oh my God, what do I do this road map? And they said, oh, and here's the means to do it. So it's not like you've got to sort of work out how to follow this map and then get all the transport and everything. We will give you the means to do it. And then I think the final thing was, which sounds... <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? Even after all this time, my Protestant work ethic still, still says, you know, uh, it's wrong to say, relax and play. I, mm -hmm. I had a connection one time, very strange connection with some galactic beings that handed me this symbol that seemed to mean play. And so I was just imagining that it was the same thing. And the message seemed to be relax and play. So there's still that part of me going, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what if I could? What if it was easy? What if it was just about, you know, going down into my womb and loving that and then ascending and, you know, what if it really was that easy and it was just shifting from the blur down here to the, and I love the fact that the new humanity reality is the one that's in front of you. Yeah. And that the proper, you know, well, not the proper, you know, the, the, the apparent reality is the one to the side. Because, you know, very often when you're living in that reality, that feels like that's the thing that's front and centre. So I love that little shift there. So thank you. That was, that was very interesting and, and, and wonderful. So bless you. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful, Madeline. And so when you notice that old Protestant work ethic, and it's not about doing what, what's ours to do. It's not about not doing that. But it's like, oh, that's the old. Oh, look, I'm in the old. Just like pivot. <sighs> oh, because the new reality is going to be is already much more playful, much more light, light, lighthearted, like the effort. There's no effort in the new. I have noticed that, that, you know, it, it just, when you're in the zone, it just flows effortlessly with that, that, that element of, of fun and play. It's not hard to work it out. It just, yeah. you know, it's just relax, chill. Oh, look, I, I, I thought that and now it's there, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Brilliant. Thanks. Who else would like to share? Yeah, Ali. I am um, in the uh, point above the bottom solar plexus, um, which I have worked on before. It just everything emerged, different light came from different angles and it was like a diamond. And then going into that, it turned into, oh, it was like a, not a fairy, but you know, if you were drawing a person and it was swirling round, which was, I was in it, watching it, whatever. And then when you said, I can't remember what, but somewhere about popping through, 
I was just enjoying this swirling and things. It oh, it, and it was like a the scent of roses was just mm -hmm. so strong. So it turned into sort of a rose going round. And when you said pop through, it was like it went as if you were going, you know, when you're in an aeroplane and you pop above the clouds, you know, mm -hmm. down below the clouds, it's raining or something. And we, oh, look, it's blue and the sun's shining up here. So it was like popping into that and it went flat as if it was uh, something I could stand on. Mm. And when you said, you know, and it was just lovely and the smell of the scent of the roses. And then when you said peep over a wall, I thought, oh, I haven't got a wall. So how can I peep over? But I, so it was like, I just saw the petals come up. So that was my wall. And then I peeped over and then just jumped into the blue. And it was, um, well, I, you know, it wasn't like in space. It wasn't like underwater. It, I don't know what it was, but it was easy to fluidly move. And then it, you said, draw everyone in. And that was fabulous because it was just such fun, you know, and <laughs> pulling everyone in with me. We were just like having a party. It was just fabulous. And then, then what did you say then? You said, there was another bit, but I've lost it now. What was that last bit? Oh, bring whatever the energy together and then bring it back around to yourself. And it felt like it wasn't a fist, but it, again, this pink petally thing just enfolding it was just I don't know I don't know the, the feeling was just lovely maybe you'd say for Jeff it would be love you know because I was thinking when we were in the party it's like oh we're having a Jeff's uh love illusion here you know <laughs> it's yeah. Like, it, yeah I don't know hells I don't know it was just delightful anyway thank you very much <laughs> yeah beautiful beautiful I want to welcome Karen in we just did a process Karen so we're checking in so um just witness if you will and then we'll check in with you in a little bit glad you're here awesome what else anybody else yeah so um Madeline I um so as you were sharing and and ali of course there's such resonance and uh overlap in what i was experiencing and when it popped over the wall it was just so amazing how like easy it was just to like pop over and it was the wall didn't need to be destroyed it was just like moving the movie set and there was this platform but not in a platform in the way of a hierarchy but just in a foundation of rootedness and there were all these gold martians that had a shape <laughs> but not really had a shape and there was just all this gold but at first when i popped over i saw this like ocean short like this shoreline it was just like pristine blueness but it wasn't quite the ocean but it was the perspective of being the ocean and it, like being on this platform and it was just this warmth it was just this overwhelming love and warmth and support kind of is the word that goes in there um and when it was all of that then eliza when you talked about like all of us being together it was just us like and there was no there was nothing beyond just this space. I mean, meaning like it was just like, this is just it. And this is a constant. Wasn't about, you know what? It wasn't about the outside. It was just about this being. Mm -hmm. And when it was all of us, we were the, we are everything in this particular vision that I was seeing and it's just all components of us cool. and the at one point it was like little Martian-esque energies which it was just like when you oh when you're talking about like up 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 and then like like giving it or I don't remember the word but it was just like sprinkles of gold light but it was so full and it was just like eradicated the whole space. Mm -hmm. Cool. Brilliant. Very cool. Everybody, 
over Very that cool. answering note. Yeah. I want to um, uh, take a moment because we're right at the hour and um, uh, I would love to hear from the, the others of you too, but uh, so I'm not cutting us off, but I also just want to say that um, this, is, this is part of New Humanity Now of which you all are in, I believe. And um, we have calls twice a month. Sometimes they'll be processed. Sometimes they'll be more like, like today. Sometimes they'll be more conversational. And the next um, layer beyond that is what I call the Quantum Burst Club. And that starts actually a week from Tuesday. So it's coming up real soon. That's a smaller group. Um, I don't know what smaller group actually means, probably this size-ish, but where we, we do the work, where we come together. It's every week. It starts, um, like I said, uh, a week from Tuesday, which is the 30th of June, and we come together every week and we just do the work. You know, we bring whatever's up in our world. Um, it's a very intimate group in that we are together every week and we're, we're going places and we're building that consistency of the energetic field and supporting each other. And that's um, the next layer. That opens up quarterly. So anyway, that's open. Uh, if that's something of interest to you that you want to jump in, I know a couple of you I'm already in conversation with, and um, but I wanted to really give the experience of it today. We don't do the talking about it so much. We're just really spending the hour in the work and processing what, what comes up and, and sorting that through a little bit related to personal intention and personal, like where you want to be. But, but the work is not, we don't talk about it. We don't think about it. We go burst it and then see what happens. And so it's very fun and expansive. So if, you, if you're not already in conversation with me about that and you would like to be, um, uh, please let me know because uh, registration's open now. So anyway, thank you for that. Um, uh, Laura or Jeff, do you want to share about that experience and and we're at the hour so if you have to jump off that's fine um, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue for a few minutes I love the concept of, of the quantum burst it's into the pausing into the here and now and, and connecting to the infinite energy of the universe so as a scientist of course this is an opportunity because as a scientist uh, we now know that the field is all connected the universe is connected every we're all part of a fractal holographic one universe yes. but we know that in the heads with the latest science the unified physics that we're that's being developed and being brought into the new paradigm and anybody who's interested and has a scientific interest can can um Join. We've made the course free. If you're interested in the the mathematics of the of the uh, uh, proof of of the field that you going into when you make your quantum bursts and where you're getting that energy, if you want to understand the how that connects it, I love the way Carrie expressed it. <laughs> uh, and, you know, how does it feel to be connected to the field? Um, and that's I think that's the next real step. We, we have a deeper understanding of the nature of the field and its infinite nature. Um, how can we spend more time in connection to the universe? Because every, everything is connected. It is a connected, in fact, they made a movie called The Connected Universe, which you can check out. But uh, again, that's, we now have a tremendous amount of information. I'll put the link in anybody, or is anybody here into the science aspects? I'll just uh, stick it yes, in there. Yes, I, I am. Yes, I'd like to know about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah, put it in the chat, and then you can come put it in the group too. Um, but put it in the chat for here. Awesome. All right, Laura. Well, I just loved that energy field. I, I had the same experience as everybody with the, with the swirling light uh, and the blue color that I was in. 
Um, I loved when we were all together gifting the universe and the universe gifting us back. And then I just went, and then the light was just swirling and swirling. Just felt really good. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. And uh, Karen, if you would you would you like to say hello and uh, bring your energy into the group, even though we are just about wrapping up? Hi, everybody. I did join pretty late, but I'm here. Woo. Um, Woo. Yeah, I'm glad I'm here. It's been interesting to hear the things that I have heard. And um, yeah, next time, hopefully I'll be more on time. But as far as, um, I don't know, I think I needed to be here today. And um, I I made part of it anyway. Yeah. So good to see all of you. Yeah. And you're, Karen's in Colorado. We were doing locate, we were connecting across. Oh. Below. I'm in Colorado and I'm actually out on a walk, but <laughs> yeah, beautiful Colorado skies today. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. All right, our next call in New Humanity now is two weeks. Um, I may adjust the time just a little bit, um, so so stay tuned for that. But um, in new in New Humanity now, we have a call every other week at least through the end of August, and then the calendar might get a little um, interesting because, um, anyway, we're gonna complete now. Um, mark your calendars. Thank you so much for being here, and I just, um, I'm, I'm just grateful to play with y'all. So, um, yeah, Madeline, you gotta go. All right, we're gonna go anyway. Awesome. Jeffrey put a couple links in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, feel free to message me, uh, share anything that comes up, and, um, you know, if you need anything at all. So um, see you all soon. Mwah. Bye.